Hey everybody, Bert and Gutter here from CGP Productions. How's it going? You have no idea who we are. Exactly. But, we're nobody, but we'd like to interview the Cottonmouth Kings back in 2005. And we did this interview at Mr. Small's Theater um, outside Pittsburgh, PA. And we're going to show you all the, all the footage from 2005. Um, our way there, well, being in there, you know. waiting outside, um, our nervousness, our yeah. going to relieve said nervousness nervousness by going back and forth to the bar. And then show you how the, the, the debacle of the interview and how it went down and what happened before and after. And I still have a very hard time watching this interview. I mean, me too. Anyway, let's get started. Here is us on the way to said Cottonmouth interview. Enjoy. Well, everybody, hey, new episode of Primal Soup, an extra special episode of Primal Soup. Oh, extra special. Why? Because it's my birthday. That's happy, birthday. happy birthday. But no, that's not it. But guess what I get to do on my birthday? I bet none of y'all motherfuckers out there are going to do what I get to do on my birthday. We have an interview with the Cardinal King. Cardinal King. Backstage passes. Backstage. We really abused our media privileges just to hang out with them. You know, we're still kind of totally unprepared, and it's concerts in a couple hours. Oh well. We kind of wrote some stuff down, but didn't really put too much effort into it because that's been our whole entire TV career was not really putting much effort into anything. Well, it is now 2:40, and we are down here at Mr. Small's Theater. It has finally hit us. This is our first interview, dude, and it's our favorite band. We are fucked. Dude, we're screwed, <laughs> man. <laughs> and me and Chuck got to do the talk, and we're gonna be screwed. He's gonna start talking and go, bleh, 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 and I'm gonna try to pick up on it, and be like, bleh, 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 bleh. you know, we're both gonna look like retards. So anyway, <laughs> check out this clip. Um, you'll see the disaster that's probably gonna be this God mouth <laughs> interview in a little bit. You'll see. Ya. And in between these takes here, where we're, we'll be right back. You know what we're doing. Going to the bar, smoking up. But of course, we couldn't really show it on TV. So yeah. <laughs> that's why we didn't film it. But that's what we were doing. We were like, we'll be right back. That's yeah, what we were doing. But yeah, we just came back from the bar. And we're feeling a little bit more at ease now. Yeah, we just passed 420 and it's now 431. So Casey was supposed to be the the fourth person there that night to help us film and stuff, but he got screwed into working, so Tyler lucked out. That's why Casey kept calling us all night. Let's laugh at him for not being able to be here. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> What's up? Casey's jealous of us. Uh -huh. uh, okay, one, <laughs> two, three. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wait to interject a message from Casey, man. I I'm telling you, just a pissed off message. Damn the man. Well, you know what's you know what's pretty crazy though? You know, we're gonna go in there with our piddly ass little cameras and our, <laughs> our ghetto lights and they're just gonna look at us like these are just stoners playing with video cameras, isn't it? Retards. And we'll go Yes yep, we are. Yes we are. <laughs> That's all we are, man. We've never we've never said we were anything we, more than we that. never claim anything. Never. <laughs> we went to the bar so many times that the bartender actually you know, recognized us after like the third, fourth time. I think maybe we ended up being four times we were there. Well, it's almost time for us to go and do our deal and we're still, we're better now. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna walk up and see what we can get. Check out this clip, we'll be back. But yeah, I don't know, I don't know what the hell they would have, what they even thought of us, man. We went in there with our 299 lights and our crappy cameras that even back then, we're eight years old, something like that. And they're watching the Iron Chef. It's like Iron Chef or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just remember us just huddled in that little dining room part. We refused to look around the corner at him. <laughs> we were waiting. It was like we were waiting to be summoned. You know, like enter. You know, the realm of the kings. You know, they do come in like, oh, Sir X, may we smoke with you? Anyway, we're here with one of our favorite bands, Cottonmouth Kings, yes. which we totally abused our media purposes to hang out with. <laughs> yeah. As any good stoner should, as any good stoner should. Yeah. You know what I think is great about our interview, unlike any other interview you'll ever see on TV, is you'll never see any TV show or anything let the talent they're interviewing eat 
salsa and chips as we're filming. <laughs> but not like we really had a choice in the matter. Hey, whatever, man. Like, hey, man, you can't have chips and motherfucking salsa and stuff here. You know, like, who was going to say that to him? I wasn't. So introduce yourselves, guys. I'm Daddy X over here. Johnny Both of us had a hard time looking up at them because I don't know. I, when you ask a question, you want to look up and see their face and see them looking at you like, fuck you just say, you know, like you don't want to see that. So you just ask the question and you just kind of humbly like, wait. <laughs> the people out there don't know who got my kids up. People that are in school. Give a short summary of what you guys are about. Uh, we're all about personal freedom, smoking the good ganja, eating the munchies, satisfying the munchies. If you can picture the movies, you know, the rock star behind the scenes, all, oh, you know, backstage passes, you know, you get back there and you're like, these dudes just want to eat. <laughs> you know, it wasn't like, you know, pussy and coke and weed, yeah, like you'd imagine that. Anyway, what are the advantages of being like the underground band? You know, you don't have to deal with uh, labels or whatever. Well, you know, it's just, you know, there's a lot, it's just, okay. people bring us lots of good presents, like good bags of herb and pot brownies and cookies. Okay. The girls give us free blowjobs and, you know, we get lots of good money, like, right. throwing to us. And there's a lot of advantages. Do you think D. Luke was really that pissed at us? I mean, look at his face. I mean, I don't know, was it just because he was hungry and they, were, they had to be on stage, like, momentarily because Blaze, your dead homie, you can hear in the background, is performing as we're interviewing him. I don't, you know, honestly, I think it was a little bit of, he was he was hungry, and he just wanted it to be over. I mean, look at, look at this picture right here, like this still we took in the interview. Do you think he's that pissed off at us? I mean, look at that face. I mean, he looks like he's, his eyes are boring a, head, a hole in the back of my head. I just want this fat bastard to shut the fuck up just so I can have some nachos and just be left alone. So after the interview, we got to go watch our show and everything. We've seen them a few times before that, but they put on one hell of a show that night. Yeah. It was a good time. So even though the interview wasn't exactly up to our standards, on our behalf, not on theirs yeah. at all, you know, I couldn't even get the, their website right. Go to CottonmouthKings.com, SuburbanNoise.com. Um, we'll check you later. Suburbanoise Records. Suburbanoise Records. Records. I'm sorry, man. Sorry, sorry, man. <laughs> so nervous. So anyway, thanks for checking out this film. Leave comments. You know, do whatever. Yeah. See ya. Call him a dick. If you want, you can call me a dick. Call him a dick. What's up everybody, this is Cut Daddy X from the Cottonmouth Kings, still blowing smoke rings, and you're watching Primal Soup right here with my good friends, the Cottonmouth Kings, sitting here, don't touch that dial, stay a while. Get a bowl. <laughs>